From the moment we're born, we have language in our lives. Hi, baby. A unique ability that defines us as human. I can walk up to someone I don't know and I can make a sequence of noises that I've never made before by pushing air through my mouth. I will take a thought in my head and make it go into their head. And that's an incredible trick. Other animals may use sounds to communicate, but we're the only ones on the planet who can talk. Speech and language distinguishes us from all other species. We are not only using words to be able to express ourselves, but we are really expressing our thought processes that are unique to ourselves. For most of us, it just happens. It's such a sophisticated skill, and yet children learn it so easily with minimal effort at all. That's mummy. And when you start thinking about it, it is quite miraculous how the brain does it. But despite decades of research, how we learn to talk remains a mystery. How did disability evolve? Why is it uniquely human? And is it something we are born with or something that we learn? It strikes me as surprising and odd that we know an enormous amount about, for example, the first fractions of a second in the history of the universe. But we really know very little at all about what makes us human and where language comes from. The wonder of language may not yet be fully understood. But how we start to talk is now being observed minute by minute for the first time. Cognitive scientist Deb Roy realized that to discover how a child learns to speak, he'd have to be able to see and hear them 24 hours a day. His solution was to take the extraordinary step of turning his own home into a language laboratory. And his guinea pig was his own son. Mm -hmm. 